We'll see if they play hard to get after the scoop I'm bringing. Hey, this clock has stopped? service how can I help you good day sir my name is Ariane I am new to the city uh I just wanted to let you know that clock in the hall isn't working oh I see well I'm rather busy but you can come to my office miss thank you Hi, my name is Ariane, and... Oh, you're the newcomer! Welcome, miss! Enrique, it's your service. I am the city mailman and projectionist. Do you work here? Yes, I'm in charge of routing the mail and keeping the communication lines in good working order. Once a week, I run the newsreel projector. Do you have any communication with the outside world? Outside the city? No, fortunately not. Where did you get news of the war? We have cameras in some of the ancient passages that lead to the surface. From time to time, we bring films in. Some of the passages still lead to the surface. No, they are all sealed off now. Who brings the films in? I do. Nowadays, I ride with the convoys headed for the mine. It's a more practical arrangement. They sell the reels inside the mine, so I don't even have to poke my nose above ground. Can I see some of the films? Sure, take this one. It's supposed to be quite interesting. And here's a key to the projection room. Why, thank you. We'll see you around, Enrique. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance. So the clock in the hall stopped just like that? Yes. That's just what I was afraid of. There's a severe power shortage in the city, and if I don't find a solution today, the city will be defenseless. This couldn't have happened at a worse time. Do you work here? Yes, I'm the head of Altamana Rails. In other words, I see to the city's automated traffic and its power supply. Does the Altamana Rail line make stops outside the city? Just one at Latifer Gate Station, but only if a caravan is planned. What's up with the electricity? I'm not receiving any more energy flux from our relays. How does the system work? An energy collector captures ambient electricity in the air and transmits it to my antenna. I can store energy or transform it using these generators. Is the collector working? Yes, but... Oh, the transmission coordinates have been changed. That's why I'm not receiving anything anymore. Should the coordinates be reset? Yes, but I can't remember where I put the sheet with the computation formula. And the calculation's liable to take too long. Is there any way I could help you? If you think you can do it. Do you know where I can recharge my laptop battery? I'm afraid not. The whole city needs a new battery. I've got to go, Figaro. Goodbye, Ariane. And remember, you can walk in our door anytime you like.
Any news? I've gotta go for go Goodbye. Any news? Looks to me like everything's okay again. Ariane, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help. How about letting me recharge my laptop battery now? Anything you like. Can you send a confirmation telegram? Here's some blank paper. I'll take care of it. I've got to go, Figaro. Goodbye, Ariane, and remember, you can walk in our door anytime you like. That's odd. This sudden change of coordinates. Looks like sabotage. Are you looking for some? I've got to send a telegram. Okay, give me all that and I'll send it right away. Thank you, Enrique. Enrique, I'll be back soon. See you! News from the surface. The war still wears on. There is fighting everywhere while the devastated civilian population lies low. But all these heartrending images must not make us forget that these men have chosen their misery. So report any suspicious incidents to the authorities, lest our world succumb to a similar fate. Our valiant miners. The first volunteers have already mined 50 tons of ore. In their honor, Wallace, our beloved chief engineer, gave a speech that mesmerized the crowd. We have heeded the voice of reason and solidarity, he proclaimed. By refusing war and fatalism, we are defending our cherished refuge without bloodshed. May reason triumph over the canker of selfishness. United in brotherhood, let us take action to win our freedom. Many young people have heeded the call to reinforce the ranks of the first convoys. Don't hesitate. Come and join the volunteers. Your efforts will redound to the greater glory of our community. Ariane, enter this world and there goes your anonymity. But what about this war? Is it a scam? Who's behind it all?
Do I really want to go there? All right, let's go. Good day, miss. Can I help you? Hello. My name is Ariane, and I'm new to this city. Oh, it's you. Nice to meet you. I'm Heracles, antique dealer and animal keeper, like my father and my father's father before me. Where do you find your animals? In the jungle on the outskirts of the city. It's dangerous, but ever so rich in wildlife. Could you show me the outlying districts? You know, I don't leave the city anymore since we got wind of the war. Incidentally, I can't keep my customers satisfied anymore because I'm all out of eggs. What kind of eggs are you looking for? Any kind, as long as they're alive, so I can keep my nursery going. And where do you find them? In the wild, of course, and sometimes at Adams. You've never heard tell of a passage to the outside world? Lord, no. What a ridiculous question. Do you really fear an invasion? Of course, though I have full confidence in our surveillance system, and our diamond reserves ought to keep us safe for centuries. Have you ever worked in this diamond mine? No, my health won't allow it. You see, it's a fairly long trek by caravan to the mine, and... And when is the next convoy due to depart? Well, one took off last week, and the next caravan won't be leaving for another three months, I think. May I enter your shop? Please, come right in. Well, see you around, Heracles. Nice meeting you. This clock runs too fast. That explains the year 2007, but not this war. Adam, what are you doing here? Ariane, I was waiting for you. I thought you were fleeing from the city. Well, actually, I need a potion I can't make myself. And what irks me is the pharmacist won't give it to me. Why not? Because she's, let's say, a terribly suspicious person. You hadn't told me about the war. You know, Ariane, I'd advise you not to trust anyone around here. Particularly Wallace. Really? Yes, I don't know, but I find his whole story rather bizarre. So do I. He's the one who gave the inhabitants the news, and his words leave me unconvinced. What do you know about the diamond mine? Not much at all. It's a very old place, but all I know is that those who come back say the work is hard, but well paid. I should like to have a look around myself. Which potion do you need? Some Anagra of Sil. It's a revelation powder they sell at pharmacies on prescription. All right, I'll try to find your potion. Thank you, Ariane.
Do you have any news? It's a hologram machine? Yes, a telelegram. Never seen one before. No, I haven't. It generates animated three-dimensional images that we can send back and forth. How fascinating. All right, I'll try to find your potion. Thank you, Ariane. Er, uh, hello. My name is Ariane, and I've just arrived in the city. Armando Grunfeld. Is this the pharmacy? Yes. Do you have a prescription? Yes, here it is. Mm. That's one of Adam's tricks. I don't serve him. Why not? None of your business, young lady. Heracles badly needs some biocardamom. Yes, it's true. You told me about it. I'll go get some at the university. I can go for you. That's out of the question. Here you are. I happen to have one ticket. Thanks. I'll be back soon. Phew! What a fierce one! Do you have any news? Here you are, your potion. Thank you, Ariane. Here's an aerial map in exchange. It will help you find the giants. Thanks. That might come in handy. I have to go, Adam. See you, Ariane.
Do I really want to go there? All right, let's go. How do you do, sir? My name is Ariane, and I'm a photojournalist. How do you do, miss? I'm Gustav, the balloonist of Askium. You're the newcomer from the surface, aren't you? Yes, that's me. So you're a balloonist? Do you know the region well? I should say so. I keep an eye on the surroundings, and occasionally carry passengers. I can show you around if you like. Oh, I'd like that. Can we take off right away? Well, my balloon needs a few adjustments first. From the air, have you noticed a passage to the surface of the Earth? No, I haven't. Besides, I can't go everywhere. And I certainly wouldn't want to go to the surface. Do you really fear an invasion? I've never seen anything with my own two eyes. But the pictures that have been broadcast speak for themselves. The civilians on the surface are in great danger, aren't they? They will be seeking refuge. Have you ever seen the diamond mine? No, it's too far away. And I can't fly over the sea in my balloon. There's a sea? Yes, there is. Is there any way I can help you get the balloon ready? Well, if you go to the university, see if you can get a bottle of helium. And then we'll have to fix this leak. What leak? In the main tube. See for yourself. Thank you for all the information, Gustav. You're very welcome. Do I really want to go there? All right, let's go. What are you doing here? What is this place? The Universal Research Laboratory. But you have no business being here. What is in this box? Don't touch it. We're studying the phenomena of fog, which causes magnetic interference. Sorry, but I have to go. I've just finished distilling the biocarnamum. I've got to bring it to Heracles right away. Well, in that case, I'll be going. Don't forget to close the door on your way out. Oh.